the Kempton Park Hospital successfully ran for many years. Throughout that time, there was no report of any paranormal activity, no ghost sightings or unexplained phenomena. So when the hospital did finally close its doors, no one cared because there was nothing to care about. However, as the years passed, stories of hauntings and ghosts started to emerge. While this may seem irrelevant, it's actually very important because I believe that when the hospital did close, it was not haunted. There was absolutely no paranormal events happening on or before 1996. Instead, as the hospital sat vacant and no one paid any attention to it, something dark started to emerge and slowly take over it. Spreading a fear that many people who now enter the hospital feel. You may be wondering why all this started only after the hospital closed down, and I believe I may have the answer. After I posted part 1 of the series, many people started to share their personal stories about the Kempton Park Hospital. They spoke about their experiences when visiting the hospital, what they saw and most importantly what they felt, and there was something that all their stories had in common. Everyone who told their story explained that the hospital had a feeling of dread within it, an unmistakable fear that was nothing like they ever had felt before. However, this feeling didn't just come from inside the hospital. Many people reported that they felt this feeling within its general location. Some people didn't even want to drive past it. This however, is not an isolated event. I quickly remembered that I had heard about this feeling while researching another location. That location being the Van Staden Bridge which many people also know as Suicide Bridge. The fear surrounding both these locations is what connects them. However, it's not just that. Before I go on, I want to thank you for helping me build this channel so quickly. In the coming weeks, I will be doing a lot more videos exposing the legends from your nightmares. So hit the subscribe button to be a part of the team and click on the bell icon to be notified as soon as I upload. The other thing that connects both these locations are the rumored satanic rituals that take place there. These rituals are performed by a group that worship demonic figures, a group that has made many appearances in South Africa over the past century. These groups, who we can call Satanists, are different from what we know as current Satanists. Recently satanic churches have opened up in different locations around South Africa. However, those Satanists are actually atheists who just use Satan as a metaphor for who they are. Real Satanists worship Satan or some approximation of him. They also provide sacrifices to him. Those sacrifices can often be human. One of the more popular stories of their sacrifices is that they meet on Easter morning somewhere along the coast of South Africa. Before the sun rises, they ritualistically sacrifice a virgin girl by killing her. While the group drinks the girl's blood, their leader eats her heart. It is believed that rituals like these take place in many locations all over South Africa. Two of these locations being the Kempton Park Hospital and the Van Staden Bridge. These locations are chosen because of the death, pain and tragedy that happens there. These things can serve as catalysts to strengthen the power of the rituals. On the day that the Kempton Park Hospital closed down, it was not haunted in any way. However, once the building was abandoned, Satanists flocked there to worship demonic beings and possibly even use the land as a gateway to our world. Those spirits now roam the area as far as they can, spreading fear and dread. The common belief is that demons and spirits attack people who are emotionally or mentally vulnerable. People who are dealing with stress and depression, among other things, are particularly at risk. Because of their emotional and mental states, these spirits can manipulate them, control them, and even piggyback them in order to leave the location, so that they can be set free outside the hospital. 
demons or forms of demons exist in every culture. So while I share this theory, I do not want people to believe that I am spreading religious propaganda. Dark light is a safe space for people of every religion and culture to exercise their curiosity. So if you do disagree with me, then please tell me in the comments. If you want a part 3, then like this video. You guys hit the previous like goal in less than 48 hours. So I'm going to set this one at 200 likes for a part 3. If not, I will just move on to something else you want to see. Thank you for watching. This is Dark Light, signing off.